there was a man, one of the family of the Abu Khatsera family, that he saw a book that had been written on Baba Meir. Baba Meir one, was one of the righteous people from, from the, the legacy of, of the family Abu Khatsera. And the book was full with praises and, 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 and stories of miracles and wonders that that righteous man did. And, and, and that family member said that the author that wrote that book twisted a lot. And he made a big mistake writing that book in that way. So someone asked him why. Is something wrong? He made up stories? Or, he said, no, no, chaser shalom, for sure not. All of the stories are right. But he was praising him, Baba Meir, on his greatness without explaining how he reached that greatness. The greatness of a righteous man is not the fact that in the end of his life or in a certain time of his life, he became so huge that every decree that he says, every blessing that he says is accepting is accepted. The greatness of the righteous man was that he was humble, that he was generous, that he was helping every person, that he was caring about people that he never saw in his life, that he knocked on doors of the poor people, that in the middle of the night he put some something for them to have money for tomorrow, that he was thinking about the widows and the orphans and he was taking care of them and that he was going and fighting for for the poor ones and for the weak ones that he was learning Torah with all of his power that he was serving Hashem in prayer and that he was not taking care of himself and he was thinking about others in the same time that's the greatness and as a result of that effort of those righteous people that's how they reach those levels that everything that they say out of their mouth Oh, Hashem is taking it and accepting it and changing the world for them. So, if really you want to become righteous, you don't need to start making miracles. That's not going to happen. You need to start work on your manners, on the generosity of your heart, on helping other people, caring, taking care of other people, thinking about other people. That's the beauty. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.